good kitten, and welcome back to Vandal Hearts. How you doing? I... This is actually the next day after I recorded the previous video. Um... Started feeling kind of crummy afterward. Um... No idea what was up with that. Just upset stomach, I think. And today I have an injured right arm for some reason. I think I just slept on it wrong. I did not have a good night's sleep. Too many stresses. So... Let's go to Karachi and progress some plot and figure out why Diego's so obsessed about not going there. So, who's this informant we're supposed to meet? An important merchant by the name of Carlo Lisbon. Lisbon, we can't trust that guy! What are you talking about, Diego? Carlo has been a big financial supporter of the rebellion. He's trying to win our favor in case if we succeed. He's probably just giving just as much money to the Empire as... Ah. He's probably giving just as much money to the Empire, I bet. Where are you getting these crazy ideas? In any case, we need to pay a visit to Carlo's mansion. Alright. We need to first pay a visit to the shop. Badly, in fact. First off, do we actually have any new weaponry? Nope. 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 Okay, so weapons are all the same. How about armor? Nope. Alright. We do have some random items are in our inventory that we should sell. I think it's Eamon that has it, but it might have been Darius. Yeah, this Iron Helm is useless. See, Golden Axe is made of money. It does nothing, it just has money. We're keeping Golden Axe, though, until we actually need to sell it. I only get 4,900 out of soul water. Wow. Such a ripoff. All right. Now that we've done that, let's go ahead and start buying some things. Wait, hold on a moment. What do we have on our wagon for regular items? My brain just farted. I'm holding on to the soul water for a bit. There's a specific battle that we're going to need that for. Um, okay, we don't really have anything in our inventory that is useful, so we're going to buy items. See, we can buy life orbs now, which are full HP and MP restoration. We're going to buy a couple of life orbs. Specifically, we're going to be putting them on Zohar. And what I would like to do is put it on Hux. I mean, I would also like it on Elanai and Sarah, but realistically, it's the most important on one healer and one non-healer. Um... Let's move things around in the wagon for a bit. <sighs> um, the only reason why I took this long to even record the video today is because I... My right arm was feeling so horrible, I didn't think I could hold my controller. Uh, you'll notice that I'm holding, I'm putting myself in a little weird of a position. It's because it's relaxing my right shoulder as much as I can. It's literally shoulder, elbow, and wrist, all on the right side. It's really obnoxious. Okay. So, assuming that we want this on Hux, that means what we don't need is the high herb. We're going to give the high herb to Eamon. I think two life orbs are probably sufficient. Really, I would like to have three, though. Yeah, let's do three. I can afford it. Push comes shove, I can sell some of the other stuff. Um, let's move the magic stone out of the way. Magic stone goes on... Uh, I don't want the magic stone. Though. 
I actually have to do it this way. I can't exchange. Okay. Well, let's put the magic stone back on Eel and I. And let's have Eel and I move the high herb to Darius. Okay. Well, actually, that should be fine. I'm pretty sure the fairy boots are healing circle. Let's go back to the shop. Unfortunately, we don't have anybody who's level 20 yet, so we can't promote again. But we are going to get another life orb or two. Heal and I and Hux. There we go. Now we have all of our primary mages. Sarah is also a primary mage, but since he, he, she can at least attack, I'm not as concerned about giving her a life orb. And we only have 15k gold left, so I don't want to become Lepor if I can help it. We've got a while before we need to upgrade items, so I'm not too concerned about getting down to that low. Let's go to the tavern. We haven't been to the tavern in a while. Oh, this town owns it all to Carlo, Carlo Lisbon. Pretty sure that's supposed to be Carlos and not Carlo, but whatever. Maybe he does some shady deals, but if it weren't for him, this would be a ghost town full of beggars and rovers. Rovers? Roamers, maybe? Have you seen our precious train? Tis a wonderful relic excavated from the ruins of a long-dead civilization. It can take you all the way to the capital and back before you even know it. Why does it look like he has a pancake on his head? So yeah, there's apparently a train that goes from here to the capital. Train. Told you this game isn't quite medieval. So strange. Who can destroy a culture that made something as incredible as the railroad? Maybe they're still alive somewhere. I say I am but a collector roaming all over the world in search of in peculiar objects and ancient relics. But it looks like there's nothing in these parts to industry. Oh, where are the three sacred treasures every respected collector is after? I have them, actually. I believe I need to transfer them to my inventory? So let's do that. Um, Ash, I'm just going to shove everything of yours into the wagon, and I totally expect to forget about it. And Clint, I will shove your fairy stone to the wagon. Wait, no, I only have two of the treasures right now because the third one is... I have Macroman and the Rider card. I need the third one, which is this coming battle. So let's move things back. Oh, so I could probably just sell the Mage Oil. There, that'll do. Let's go ahead and save on the cartridge ram, because this is a temporary save. Wait. No, that's right. Never mind. I wish backup would have just backed up to this spot. I don't know why it doesn't. There. All right. Let's go visit this Carlo Lisbon. It's Carlo's mansion. Pretty certain it's supposed to be Carlos. Definitely mixing languages there, given that Lisbon is a city in Portugal. That'd be Portuguese. <laughs> Thank you for coming. I'm Carlo Lisbon. Ash Lambert. About this ring, I've been... Uh, about the ring, I've been tracking its whereabouts through the my company's information network. We should have a clue soon. In the meantime, you're welcome to stay here in my residence. Thank you very much. The L starts leaving the room. Oh, wait. Is that Diego? Damn it. You've come back to succeed me. Uh, what? Don't be ridiculous. I told you seven years ago I want nothing to do with you. My name is Diego Renoir of the Liberation Army now.
Diego. Yep. I bet nobody saw that coming five miles away. Diego. I didn't want you to see all that. I'm supposed to be the happy-go-lucky character, you know? So you're really the heir to this estate. Why does it look like he's holding a sword in his hand? I know it's his bow, but from this angle, it looks like a sword. I... I've hated my father, father for a long time. All he ever cared about was making money. My mom suffered so much because of it. Then... Seven years ago, pain and anxiety got the better of her, and she left this world. That's when I discarded the Lisbon name. So you may notice, back in the very first video that I showed the pictures from the manual, which is actually behind the green screen, so we can't reach it right now, um, I pointed out that his name was uh, Jose Carpas Lisbon in Japan. That's why. So he goes by the name Jose Carpas for most of the game. And this is when you find out that it's actually Jose Carpas Lisbon. I don't know why they changed his name to Diego instead of Jose. Not like Jose isn't an uncommon name in the US or any of North America for that matter. So yeah, Diego is Diego Lisbon. Ah, so that's the story. So this is where you were, Ash. Carla wants you some news about the ring, I think. Okay, I really like that look for you and I. I just like the whole hair tucked into the hoodie look. I've confirmed that it is the royal ring. After the revolution, the ring would wound, wound up with a well-known coin collector. I have completed negotiations with this man. The exchange will be tonight at a warehouse in the old town. I want you to go and make the exchange. I understand. Warehouse in the old town. Got it. Never been here in my life, but sure. Why not? We can find that. I mean, we do have a resident in the town. See, we're just getting a giant list of things in Karachi. So I'm going to save again. You know, absolutely no reason whatsoever. None at all. And let's go to the town warehouse. Not the old town warehouse, it's the town warehouse. There's only one in the entire Drayden City. Oh, why do we have all of our equipment out? Something's wrong. Where are they? Huh? I remember this battle now. Bloop. Bloop. Monsters! What the? Oh, no time to think now. These monsters are coming. So somebody set us up the bomb. I mean the monsters. Okay. So these are all new enemies in this case. So time to start looking out for things. First off, the usual, let's go to distant zoom and let's, I always do that. Go to that angle. So we've got egg worms. Egg worms are obnoxious. They have the height advantage at the moment, which means they're gonna be doing extra damage. And they're also three levels higher than the random vomiting monsters that we just fought. There are four of them. All four on each of these platforms. It's as though we are perfectly located. Um, we do actually have hidden stuff this battle. We need to absolutely make sure that we collect them. I don't remember where, though. Hold on. Let me... That is... No, it's not this battle. It's the next battle. That's why. Okay. There's actually nothing hidden in this battle. So, we also have skeletons. They are sword class. That's it. And gold golems, which are really high defense, regular armor class enemies. That's all we've got. 
this isn't that hard of a battle in my mind. Hopefully we can reach level 20 this battle. I don't know for sure, but that would be nice. Because if we reach level 20, that means we get to do our final promotion. And that'll be really nice. Unfortunately, we are not in the greatest of positions to be able to attack things this round. Because what we need to do is hide from these things. They will moiderize our flyers. Alright. Can I hit both of them with a phase shift? Yeah, I can. I can't quite hit the egg worm. But if I move here, I might be able to. Nope, the egg worm's just a bridge too far, but that's fine. This is perfectly fine. It's phase shift time. Hitting two gold golems is totally worth the phase shift, along with four other enemies. It doesn't even drop them left anymore. I mean, it's doing wonders for the gold golems, at least. 80 XP. Heal and I is the first to reach level 20. Yeah. So yeah, we're actually getting decent XP again. I think I need to do the same thing over here. Yep, once more, can't hit the egg bro. As I mentioned, the egg bros are really the problem in this battle, from what my memory is telling me. I couldn't remember what this battle was until I saw the battlefield. Two XP. Second character reaching level 20. We need to get Clint up, though. He's only 17. Bong! 60 XP. Definitely enough to level up. But now he's 18. So we have 18, 19, and 20 for levels on characters now. We don't have too many 19s, though. It's Sarah and... Isn't it just Sarah? Oh, it's Sarah and Hux. It's unfortunate that they can't reach. So the problem with this battle is, well, not just the egg folk, but also how, uh, how surrounded we are. There's no safe place to hide. My best bet is probably to have just concentrated on one side and use that as my base of operations, but that's not the way I started this battle. So we're going to need to think. How far can you reach? Okay, you can definitely reach. We need to protect. And we need to protect. Do you have any good offensive spells yet? No, that's right, because you gained a perfect guard. You've got nothing for range. Oh, I should have used the Aura Gem. That would have actually been a really good time to do that. Take out the golems while I can. Holy lightning! Such slow money down. Can you be attacked by... Oh, crap. You can actually be attacked by both of them, can't you? Well. You're going to be target. No, 
you're going there. Protecting his back. Okay, you can not really hit too many people that I care about. Um, I can go there, but then I'm definitely dead. Um, oh, poop. Here is actually my best target. Just barely reach that skelly bro. But Ash can't defect, uh, defend me, is the problem. I think it's better to do this this turn. Yeah, Clint is going to get beaten up this round. I love how it's a gun sound effect for the Egrim, by the way. Beaten up. He's going to get hit by three or four enemies. I hope it's three, but uh, it kind of looks like it may end up being four with the Egrim. Well, assuming that I don't get hit by the other Egg I'm, I'm fine. I think I'm going to get hit by, by the other, other Egg Worm, though. Yep. That doesn't work. Well, time to restart the battle. Had to happen again at some point. I'm actually going to lose two characters, aren't I? Darius is going to be killed by another eggworm. Alright, I actually am going to have to focus on one side. Because that. That's enough to kill Darius, isn't it? No, it isn't. Okay. Grog's being attacked. Grog's also dead. Just dawned on me. Grog will have four people attacking him because of the gold golem. Oh yeah, I love the attack. You go down, bonk! If I actually blocked anything, I'd be fine, but I'm not going to block anything. And dead. Wait, you can hit so far? Oh, right, other side. Actually, Ash might be dead. Oh, that was such an ill-conceived way of handling this. Is at 10 hit points. Ah, just insult injury. Alright, that was a long way of going. Load from beginning. Alright, we're concentrating on one side of the battlefield this time. I'm gonna choose the side that um, Zohar is closer to. It's time for a double dose of phase shift. Phase shift one is done. It'd be so much easier if I was just slightly higher level, but it was not really viable for Zohar and Elanai to be level 20 entering this. So I think level 20 is when they get their next large AoE move, but I don't know. It's already changed a little bit, so it might be different on Saturn. Phase shift two, going off now. gotten something to drink before I started recording. No. Oh. Well, he took out both gold golems. The swords folk are very weak. 
Neil and I leveled up and got almost the same amount of XP as she got with only harming them, which is a little annoying. All right. Clint cannot reach anybody. So, Clint, you are going to be designated guard. Sorry, I have to think about the order on this. Ash is going to be designated guard. Then Clint is going to take up the other slot. There we go. That makes more sense. I move there, can I be hit by this scooper? No, although it's not by much. Um, I would be hit by two, as it stands now. I think it's worth taking the shot. We'll find out. Yes, I am actually putting him in harm's way. I'm quite aware. Plus 15, it's almost, it's over half of her total, but A goes a sitting duck otherwise. I think that's the better option. Time to summon a cube. Oh yeah, summoned cube. Such magical power right there. I if I had the fox kill him. Just in case if that doesn't work. Ah, perfect guard is agility increase. Interesting, okay. That's everybody. Let's see if this turn, uh, this turn should at least go better than last time. Diego's the sitting duck this time, and I think he's going to be dodging almost everything. He might not dodge from the back. Nope. But one hit I can deal with. Yep, you're going after Hux. Didn't go after Il and I. Okay. You're an idiot, but sure, we'll go with that. Oh no, maybe he's not an idiot. Maybe there's actually enough attacks that are gonna go on to take him out. I don't think there are, but it's possible. I have my camera pointed on the side again. That was probably better for him than anything else. Uh, no, it didn't matter. He was, that was the only melee. 83. Yeah, he's fine. I mean, for a given definition of fine. Old golems are moving up. Interesting. Yeah, this is the reason why I was concerned. But, you know, he could have taken another hit. Old golem. Saving. Internal ram this time. Because I think my next moves. The two gold golems and the worm thing. I 
can move over one more that doesn't help me. What I needed to do was move further up, and I can't do that. I am actually hitting the skeleton behind me too, but I might want to do something else. Really? Damn it. Flint's the one I need to level up. I mean, Darius needs to level up too, but not as bad as Clint. Okay. I definitely need at least one. Yeah, I need at least one of the two of them to go off with a phase shift. Because I need to soften up those gold golems. Phase shift time. Bonk. 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 Death did. 41 XP. Please just die like you're supposed to. Thank you. See? That would have been so much better. Okay, you definitely need healing. I'm gonna move you last. still have three of those goobers out. Really hoping I'd kill one. And I still can kill one, but it's not going to be as great of an experience. You know what? I'm loading. Hear me out. I normally don't like doing chronomancy, but I'm really screwed over by Clint not actually taking that shot this turn. So I'm just going to do this in the other order. Because now Clint will actually have support on the attack, and that should overcome the agility. Because then, otherwise, Clint is going to be constantly behind because now he'll be over three levels lower than the lowest member of the party. And I can't let that happen. I need Clint to not suck. <laughs> okay, got that taken care of. That makes this a lot easier to deal with. Now because, well, let's make sure. There we go. Now I'm only dealing with two of those egg throwers, and that's much better. XP must also be related to how much damage you deal. So, now I can throw Eel and I in the middle of the combat. And have her phase shift all the things. Weird that she's missing two spells already. I guess Eel and I gets better higher level spells? Okay, now I've gotten that taken care of. Die. Lux, you are in charge of healing both of you. Plus. Wait, is plus actually enough to heal him? No, it wasn't. Crap. Oh, uh, that might be a problem. Because Sarah can't reach him. Crap. 
I might actually, yeah. I think I need to do this. He actually needs to have more hit points than that. I gained a decent amount of XP from it due to level differential. Uh, 19, 19, 18. Please take out Gold Friend. Goodbye, Gold Golem. Doing that next B, leveling up Ash. Is Clint the only level 18 left now? 19, 18, 19, 20, 20, 19, 19, 18. Oh, Eamon's the other one. Yeah, this is not a good battle for Eamon. Not until those egg throwers are gone. Once they're gone, though, this becomes much easier. Ugh. Do I really want to do that? Where are you moving to? You're attacking Ash. You're attacking Ash. Depending on the order that they move, only one of them might attack Ash. regular healing is actually enough. I was planning on doing healing circle, but I don't need it. He's only going to get attacked at most by two things, and that would do at most... Actually, I don't think he can be attacked by two things. Uh, yeah, he can. Nope, he can't. Okay. He can only be attacked by one thing. He's taking at most that 40-something damage. That's fine. Best I can do is poison or throw Roman fire around. I'm gonna die if I Roman fire it. That's fine. I'll lose a little bit of XP, but it'll be okay. I'd rather have fewer of those stupid egg worms. And that's everybody. We only have one egg worm left, and you're concentrating on Zohar? Okay. Not who I would have targeted, but sure. You are suicidal. But thank you for the XP. I appreciate it. Now the only one at level 18 left is Clint. But I can deal with that. Would have expected them to concentrate on Dolan. Although I guess Dolan does hit harder. Not by much. Yep, you're attacking Ash. They're both gonna attack Ash. Oh. Okay. That works. No, you're attacking Sarah. I didn't even think about that as an option. Okay. Alright, we'd be done this turn if it weren't for that stupid eggworm. Like, what? I can't even hit that with a, um, phase shift. But I can kill it with Diego. Worth all right, Clint is not going to be gaining any more XP this battle. Just not feasible. Like, the best that Clint can do would be using an item to heal Darius. Which I guess I might as well do. All right, before I do that, let's save and see if I remembered what the fairy boots do correctly. Nope, I didn't. It's perfect guard.
I should definitely keep that for another time. Oh, this is why we saved. It's fine. Everything's fine. I should remember to actually take my glasses off. Although at this angle, at least, since I'm looking down here instead of directly at the camera, generally fine. Okay. So, yeah, Clint is useless. We have level 19 bros now. Got three people at level 20. Can I get anybody else up to 20 this battle? Uh, definitely not Ash. He's got 99 to go. No. Diego just went, so probably not. Gil and I could actually reach 21. Huxley, no. Frog just leveled. Dolan is possible, but unlikely. Sarah can reach 20. And that's it. Okay. Which means I need to use this... These pair of characters... Soften some people up. If I'm going to soften people up... I soft well, you don't want to be softened. You don't want to be softened. Okay. In that case, I do just want to soften these two up. Phase shift. Should give her enough XP? Oh, How close was she? She needs eight more XP. Could she just heal Zohar and actually get more XP? Alright, I'm gonna try science. We've, this is a short video anyway, so... right safe yes okay still a good idea to do this regardless of who's attacking him it's good to soften them up and it's generally free xp i normally i would do that with an archer but uh, i don't i only have one archer and the archer's already gone Healing circle. We should heal two people, one at 20 and one at 19. That should be a decent amount of XP. It might be enough to level. We'll find out. Yep, exactly enough. Okay, that's worth doing that then. Frog can't even reach anybody this turn. That's fine. I do need to take both of these goobers out. Ooh, I might have a problem with how many targets I have left. I might actually have to use one of the level 20 characters. Not particularly want to, but... We're dead. Axe to the back of the skull tends to do that. Especially when all you are are a skull. I think this is enough damage? Especially with support? Yep. Which goes over here. Impales the skeleton. Who do we have left? Let's just throw over some Riven Fire to not have the skeleton and end the battle. Or should I just take the round? Let's 
make a good battle save here. And let's end the round. Let's try to eke out a little bit more XP. You're gonna go after Elanai? No, you're going after Grog? What the hell is wrong with you? Oh, you're dead. That was better overall, anyway. We win! Relatively simple battle. And once more, as a reminder, we play until we can save. Shouldn't be any monsters here unless. No. There's Zeno. <laughs> Looks like I have you figured out. Sorry. Looks like you figured it out. This is the one you should th be thinking through all of this. Yup. It's Carlo with Zeno! I knew you were a turncoat. Son, you're not cut out for the warrior's life. Come home and take over the family business. Uh, no. Go screw yourself. Ring of fire. Tapes! Ha ha ha, you're all finished now. This barrier of flames will consume you all, leaving nothing but ash in its wake. So wait, ash is going to survive? In a moment? That's not what we agreed to. You said you'd spare my son's life. Silence, fool! Traitors don't get to engage in honest business deals. Smack. Flames encroach closer as the frame rate drops because spell effect. I'm just really curious to see what happens if I just leave it like this. Eventually, it would either, one, reach them, or two, stop. The answer is two, stop, although it looks like rocks on fire. Damn, can't end like this. Ha ha ha! Famous last words, Ash Lambert. Stop! Smack! Have you lost your mind? No! The barrier! Concentration checks. They're a problem sometimes. It's... The ring of fire has disappeared! There's no hope in winning in direct combat, so I'm out of here. Mother! Speak to me! Oh... Oh, he'll be all right. But let's get him back to the mountain. It's funnier when Hux is a monk in that sequence. Because then it's like, I have giant claws about to stab somebody and go, Oh, he'll be fine. Where am I? Good. I'm just getting worried about you. Hey, go. Who took care of me? <laughs> I see you're feeling, feeling like your old self again. I don't know why they're bouncing like that. Diego, wait. I have to apologize. Dad, I... I was born in a poor village, and my brother died from a disease. It wasn't something incurable, it was just nothing more than the common cold. But we couldn't even afford to feed him a proper meal, let alone medicine. That's what killed him. That's when I realized... People say money cannot buy happiness, but if we had it, we could have saved him. Most games don't touch on this. That there are some... Rich people who have a reason why they're greedy. And this is something that I personally have experienced. Um, when you grow up, 
extremely poor, you tend to borderline obsess over money. And I certainly have that problem. Um, it's something I have to consciously keep in check because I recognize that, no, I'm not one meal away from starvation or anything like that. I have a roof over my head. House isn't going to be repossessed. I am not going to be kicked out of the place I'm renting or anything like that. I'm fine. Just like the whole money can't buy happiness thing is not, that's not the way that works. It's money can't buy happiness once you have so much it doesn't matter anymore. And what Carlo was talking about is basically, hey, look, I'm so poor that money will help anywhere. Of course, old habits die hard, and it's really hard to adjust your thinking after you're not poor anymore. That was the day I became the heartless merchant you know. Not going to hold you back any longer, though. I want you to follow the path you believe in. Live without any regrets. Oh, wait, I'm not dead. Father. Oop. Diego, we got a hot tip about the ring. The hot tip is that Isin is really cute. Mm -hmm. Yes, he is. I just smell like perfume, Isin. Nope, I guess that's just your natural scent. The ring has already been sold to an agent of the Empire. They're taking it back to Shumeria by train, but we can still catch them. Diego, go with him. Turns over. Uh, um. Okay. Bye. Father, when it's all over, I'll come back. Stay well until then. Thus ends Diego's backstory. Yep, that's it. There's nothing else to it. Um, before I actually save an exit. Now, I have the standard thing. I'm going to save and we're going to stop. I need to beg back up again. I will do that. Now, hope you've enjoyed the synapse and I'll talk to you next time. Bye. At least it got us in time. That's good, right?